I'm sure you can hear the squeak. I've tried most of the tips and tricks out there, so if you guys have any for getting your orthotics to not squeak, let me know. Put them down below. Because, <laughs> yeah, I've had them for a while now. They still squeak. Anyway, we, by we, I mean mostly Mr. over there, are sore from yesterday's concrete construction journey that took 12 hours plus and yeah we didn't get home until after 10 yeah we ate something and then went straight to bed and yeah the son-in-law's rethinking round two which was supposed to happen today and we'll see how that goes and uh we just told them look you know we physically aren't capable of helping you today. We're way too sore. So anyway, we're going to go for a little bit of a slower than normal leisurely walk. I did take a tumble yesterday. Um, I seem to be fine, but of course I did land on my left knee, which if you don't know, yeah, that's my bad knee. And yeah, that was not smart. I also cut my toe open because I wasn't intending on helping with the concrete and I had flip-flops on and it's just a whole thing. Anyway, we're going to go get some steps in and if Mr's feeling up to it, I think we're going to go try to get a few groceries purchased. We've got a bunch of laundry to do and stuff like that and then the rest of the day will just be spent on the couch watching movies. I have some crocheting to do so... All right, I'll be back. Um, we are, of course, in the car again, headed to the airport again. <laughs> I've been up for a while this morning, though, um, working on my scrap yarn sweater, trying to, at the very minimum, get the main body part of it done, even if I don't get it assembled today because I have some stuff coming up and I'm going to be crocheting on the go sort of thing, but I don't necessarily want to take that project with me. I'd rather do some little ones and I also have a baby blanket I need to do. So today's focus is working on the sweater, getting the body done and maybe getting all the little thread ends hidden. Maybe. maybe. Okay, you guys. After I got my dad at the airport today, I spent the rest of the day working on the sweater. I told you there's a bunch of stuff going coming up and I wanted to at least get um, the sleeves done on the body, even if I didn't get the thread ends woven in or get it finished up or not or whatever. Yeah, I've got it on. It's all finished. Have I gotten all the thread ends woven in? I sure hope so. I hope I didn't miss anything. I hope nothing unravels. It is a scrap yarn sweater. If that happens, I'll repair it with another piece of scrap yarn. That's the whole point. But it has to be blocked still. And I just see another little piece sticking out because, you know, um, let me trim that. And let me get you a picture. Hang on. Are you ready? <laughs> I wanted it to be a little bit oversized. I didn't want long sleeves. And I wanted to see if I could crochet in one piece instead of having a bunch of pieces that I could sew, had to sew together. I think I accomplished all that. Now it does still need to be washed and blocked. I haven't done that yet. And will I? I don't know. I don't always do that to the sweaters and things that I make. I know you're supposed to, but um, it'll be really cute in the winter, I think, with a little pair of boots and some black leggings. But anyway, let's see. What do you think? I think she's pretty cute and I love all the colors. Totally scrap yarn, some wool, some wool blend, some acrylic. It's just all over the place. A lot of yarn changes. <laughs> oh God. I'm not sure I'm gonna do another scrap yarn project that's this big anytime soon, but never say never, right? All right, now it's time to clean up and probably have dinner since it's almost seven o'clock. I'll be back. The new sweater is in the wash. And because one of the ways to block them is to wash it and then lay it out flat to dry. 
Uh, I used to, back in the day, have a big setup of boards that you pin it to and you steam it. And I don't have that anymore. <laughs> so anyway, I went upstairs to go get Bob and tell him it's after 7 o'clock, time to end the day. He's on a work call. There's a problem in the world somewhere with lamb research that he needs to manage. So, you know, it's the way of things. So anyway, I'm going to go get the mail in the garbage cans. I'll be okay. Junior's gone home. Babysitting duty is over. And dishes are done. Didn't get a lot of chores done. He is only three months old. And he wants to be rocked to sleep and held all the time. I mean, he's a baby. The daughter says, Mommy, you can put him down. I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'll have to at some point. He can't, can't keep sleeping that way. Anyway, um, the sweater is drying. It's looking great. I'm probably going to... Um, I'm just going to leave it for right now. It's going to say something different, but anyway, it's looking good. Um, I have some ideas for next sewing project, specifically this one, I think is going to be next. It's going to have to wait a little bit, but we're going to do a dress out of this as a cotton bed sheet. I have some ideas for the dress. Then I have some ideas for a little jacket thing to go over it out of something that I have in my inspiration book. I can't share a lot of these pictures. I don't want to get any strikes, but I do love the bohemian style. There's a lot of things out there on Pinterest to give you inspiration for designs. I don't have a pattern. It's going to have to be something I self-draft. But we'll worry about that when we get there. And I also have linen in the closet, I think is what I'm going to use. It's white linen, but I think we're going to dye it after the project is done. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to go sit and have some water and start the baby blanket is next kind of project we need to work on. So start that and maybe go out and go get the mail. You know, all the things, things I can't really do when I'm babysitting. So, all right. That's it for right now. Okay, we're back. headed out for our nightly walk. Of course, we ran into the little ones from next door. They're headed out to dinner with mom and dad. And of course, the first thing they did when they saw us is ask for a jelly bean. Jelly bean. I'm like, you know, you can't have a jelly bean before dinner. Fun fact, we keep a bowl of jelly beans on the kitchen counter because our daughter loves them. She's always loved them oh, since she was little. And son-in-law loves them. Turns out a whole family loves them. So, yeah. And the little ones from next door love them. So we're probably a bad influence on everybody, but, you know. All right. We're going to go get some steps in. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's 8.51 a.m. on Wednesday, July 26th, I think. I'm obviously in the car. We're going to go run a few errands really quick. I've got packages to drop off and got to check on the P.O. box and all that stuff. So we're going to go get that done and then get home because I've got a baby blanket to finish and I've only got like 24 hours. So that's a thing. And booties and a little hat if I can manage. Hey guys, <clears throat> it's just after 7 p.m. I got home from running a few quick errands. At about 10.30-ish. Um, other than taking a break for lunch, I've been crocheting all day. All day. Um, one of my daughter's college friends is having a baby, a baby, another boy. And so I crocheted her a little set, a blanket, some booties, and a hat. I wanted to get it done today. Um, my daughter's going to be seeing her soon, and I wanted to make sure she could bring it with her. So that is done. And as I hinted at before, Bob and I have a lot of stuff going on the next few days. So it was either today or was gonna be a couple of weeks. <laughs> but we both were doing a bunch of stuff. Bob was working. He's been on the computer and in conference calls all afternoon. And I finally said, hey, should we stop and have lunch? I mean, dinner. 
We can have lunch too. We, yeah, <laughs> it's just been a day. Anyway, we also turned the air conditioner on finally because it's really hot. <laughs> I didn't notice before when I was crocheting, but now I did. Anyway, I'm going to eat something. I'll be back. Yes, we're in the car again. <laughs> Always. Always. So I haven't vlogged all day today because it's been a busy day. We have, and I can say this now because I've decided you're not seeing any of this until after I get back. So we are going on vacation starting very late tonight. We are literally taking the epitome of a red eye <laughs> to the Where East Coast. Is, yeah. uh, we leave at midnight from Portland and we're headed east to Williamsburg, Virginia. We're gonna spend a week on the East Coast um, traveling around, seeing the sights, and also visiting um, for the day with my niece slash little sister and her husband. No, I'm not going to expl explain the slash. It's, yeah, anyway, it is what it is. She's like little sister. Too. She is, yeah. Um, they moved to Maryland, so we're going to go visit them. Anyway, I think we're pretty much all packed. We need to eat dinner, though. <laughs> And we don't have any food in the house that's not frozen. So we're gonna go grab something really quick that hopefully doesn't require any dishes and doesn't take up too much, doesn't make too much trash. Nope, it doesn't upset our stomach. And then, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it doesn't make, so no trying any new foods, no grocery store sushi, cause that's a crap no, shoot. No gas station sushi. No, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. So anyway, it's going to be a very long evening. I will vlog what I can just because I've never done a flight like this before at this time of the night. I've done an East Coast flight before, but not this time of the night. And from where we live to the East Coast, it's really rare to get a direct flight. Like almost all the flights are stopping somewhere. And we stop going and coming back in Dallas. So, and he hasn't done one of these flights um, since he was a college student before we got married. It was a long time ago. Long time ago. So anyway, we're gonna see what we can see. I'm bringing stuff to keep me busy and everything else is in, a, in the suitcase and yeah, I don't know. We'll see, I'll be back. But every time we go somewhere, we run into somebody we know and we're in the middle of the Dallas-Fort Worth airport on our way to Richmond and what just happened, Bob? Uh, we met a Lodge brother. From California. from California, yes, randomly was, out of the blue from South America. South America visiting yeah. family. Yep. So yeah, how funny. That was a thing. That was a thing. Amazing. That's anyway, cool. I'm not awake enough for that. <laughs> I'll be Cheers. back. We're in Virginia. We landed. We got our rental car. Now we're going to head over to the hotel and check in and relax. Um, and hopefully try to find something to eat before we just crash because we haven't slept for tw about 24 hours. So actually more than that. <laughs> so anyway, I don't even know. So, cause I'm tired. So we're gonna do all those things and tomorrow we're gonna go to Washington DC and the Smithsonian, so. That's the goal. That's the goal anyway. That's the mission. The mission, yes. And I will, of course, be filming what I can and taking you with me where I can without getting in trouble. I don't know what, I don't know if I would get in trouble, but anyway, let me film some stuff besides my face. I'll be back. Morning, guys we slept about 12 hours last night we're getting a little bit of a later start than anticipated because it's already after 10 o'clock but we are headed into Washington DC today and the plan is the Smithsonian at least three buildings out of 19 we can't do all 19 we're today we're gonna try we're gonna try and we're also gonna see the Washington Monument well we're gonna drive around see what drive we can around. see so hopefully, hopefully do drive around and see the White House and we try by it, the Washington Monument. Yeah, take some pictures, take some video where we see, can. And see where we can park and yeah. walk around. Yeah, and hopefully next time we come back east, um, it won't be so hot. But also, <laughs> we can actually tour the White House. It was a lot of paperwork and rigmarole to get to for this trip that we yep. just didn't feel up to doing. But hopefully next time we come, we can do that. 
and because um, it is on our bucket list. And this won't be our last trip here because my, nie my niece slash little sister now lives out this way. So we're going to be back. Anyway, I will take pictures and video where I can and I will be back. Let's go get some coffee. I need coffee. We've only been in Virginia for less than 24 hours and what are we noticing already? People are super nice and oh my god y'all have a lot of trees. We are from Oregon, land of many trees. Much water, no bridges, every all the bridges and no direct route anywhere but um, y'all beat us with the trees. We can't, there could be Walmart on the side of the highway and we can't see it because well, this one says McDonald's and Subway because there's trees. I, I'm not complaining about the view, mind you. I'll put a clip here so you all see what I mean. But yeah, so many trees. We're headed to the Smithsonian right now. It's a few hours away. We're headed to um, drive drive around DC and I, I got to do the map. I'll okay, map. In Oregon and California, we don't have fancy rest stops that are in a brick building like this. This is a different. Not a bit different, but different. Hold on. It's huge. It. We're in DC. That was a long, heavy traffic drive. But we are parked underneath the Ronald Reagan building. And we're in DC and headed over to the Smithsonian. This ought to be fun. I'll be back. That was interesting. We did. We were able to do the American History Museum and the Natural Museum before they closed. And now we're going to go drive around DC and see what else we can see. It is raining outside. Um, they call it, yeah, I don't know. It's not that bad, but I'm from Oregon, so what do I know? And maybe it was bad while we were in the building, but I don't know. There anyway, there was thunder. It, there was thunder and lightning. Thunder, so It'll be interesting getting home because, you know, rain, car accidents. Uh, and the traffic was bad getting here, so nothing oh, will surprise me. So anyway, we're going to go see what else we can see. I'll post some pictures, or I already did. And uh, yeah, we also need a snack. I'm starving. I'll be back.
traffic in DC is horrible and parking is a nightmare. They're really not kidding. But we did find a place. I guess it stormed while we were in the Smithsonian and there's tree branches down everywhere. Must have been bad. Must have been really bad. Yeah, I'll show you some in a minute. And we're walking over to the Lincoln Memorial. And then we have one more place to look, to go to. And then we're gonna try to find some food. We haven't had anything but a donut all day, but I mean, you know, it's all right. I'll be back. It's not too bad. the George Washington Masonic Memorial, which is closed to the public at the moment. See the barriers? Yeah, we're just parked over here in front of the barriers, sort of illegally. Nobody report me. So hubby can get a picture. For those that don't know, he is a Freemason and he wanted to get a picture in front of the building. At some point, we already know we want to come back here and maybe we can come back and he can get a tour because uh, they do have tours of the building. So. But right now we just want a picture. Yeah, that's how hot it is. My glasses are. Anyway, and then we're gonna um, go find some dinner because we haven't had anything except the donut this morning. So yeah, all right, I'll be back. You guys, it's very early in the morning. <laughs> we're headed out again for the last of our long drives until we leave the East Coast. We are headed to Maryland. Uh, my, uh, some of my family lives up there now, as I've said already. And so we're gonna go see her and her husband and the two little babies. My sister Elizabeth is there with them. She helped them move out from the West Coast. So yeah, anyway, it's gonna be a long drive. First stop, coffee. And gas. And gas and maybe snacks. I'll do the snacking food thing, maybe while he's pumping gas. I'll be back.
So today is a tour, walking tour of historic Williamsburg. It's hot, but it's Here beautiful. It's a cold front. <laughs> it's a cold front. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go walk around and take some pictures and I'll be back. Okay, we're here touring Colonial Williamsburg and before we got out here we were debating buying tickets to see the historic part and because you got to buy tickets and for how long we should do it one day two days three days we decided to just do three days because it was less expensive but we didn't think we'd probably spend all three days touring the park it's only been one day and I think we're wrong so Some cool things here very cool things here. I would recommend if you're thinking about coming to the East Coast and do some doing some sort of historic American vacation, definitely do the normal things and go to DC and all that, but do the other probably less common things like touring historic Williamsburg and Jamestown. I mean, oh my goodness, there's so much to see. Of course, there's a dressmaker shop here and fabric. So we're headed there. Yeah. All right. I haven't really bought myself too many souvenirs yet, so time is coming. I'll be back. We feel caught, tired, and moist. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, it's very warm out. Warm, my, hot, and humid. And yeah, my hands are sticky. Today. My and I like I've touched syrup or something. Is that a humidity thing? It's a humidity thing. It's got to be. Yeah. Anyway. Um, we always have a rule when we're traveling that we try not to eat at too many big chain places. I think we've said this before on, on film, maybe even for this trip, um, with the exception of coffee. Um, we'll go to Starbucks or wherever just to get a good cup of coffee. Um, we've decided to add to our list 
if we're in a condo situation like we're at now and we can buy groceries, which we just did, yeah. that we're going to go to a local grocery store to shop rather than a big chain. Turn right. Even if then it's a big right. chain, it's a big chain we don't usually go to. Mm -hmm. I, that's a lot of fun. So we just went to Harris Teeter. My, I don't know if it's the cheapest place on the planet. Prices seem comparable to what we get at home. Yep. And the selection was pretty good. And yeah, so that was a lot of fun. They didn't have everything we have back home, but I didn't really expect Turn it to. Turn right. Then at the roundabout, take the second exit. Anyway. Approaching a railway crossing. She keeps interrupting. Anyway, we're going to go back to the condo, have some. The roundabout, She's, an take the She's such an egg. She's such an um, egg. <laughs> we're going to go back to the condo now and we're going to have some dinner and just chill and relax. We both did a lot of walking again today. That's like yep. the fourth day in a row. And yeah, and we have more walking to do tomorrow. Plus, we're going to get up early and head to Old Williamstown early to catch. Sorry, Williamsburg. Why do I keep saying Williamstown? Um, Colonial you, Williamsburg. You mix that up with Jamestown. I have. I put the two together in my brain. He's not wrong. Um, we're going to head to Colonial, Colonial Williamsburg you go to early. Later on, okay? <laughs> Okay. To Jamesburg too. <laughs> Jamesburg and Williamstown. How's that? <laughs> okay. We didn't get to the um, carriage rides were all booked for today, so we want to book that first. We want to tour the Governor's Palace, and we want to, if we have time, go to the folk art part of the museum. And then we do want to either tomorrow afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, th or Thursday, probably Thursday, we're going to go do Jamestown. Yeah. Um, and in between, um, and maybe we'll do some of it tomorrow after we're done at um, Williamsburg. I want to go to either Goodwill or Salvation Army. We have them there. So we are going to, um, you know, I like kind of like the idea. We're done with Williamsburg. We leave kind of like we did today. And this time we stop, went for a drive and stopped at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow let's do a thrift store. Okay. I, that's actually a good idea. So anyway. All right. That's enough jabbering for me. We're going to go back. Jabber, jabber, jabber. jabber, jabber. I know. All right. We're going to go back to the room and I'll be back. guys we are we have a low tire pressure situation this morning so bob is taking care of that then we're headed back to colonial williamsburg and try to do a couple of the things we didn't get to do yesterday like tour the governor's palace um there's a situation here at the gas station tour the governor's palace hopefully see the folk art museum and um go on a carriage ride probably do some more shopping we're gonna also try to hit one one or two thrift stores on the way back to the hotel and um it ought to be a fun day yeah and yes my hair i haven't had to do, hardly do anything to my hair to get it to be curly because it just is curly and yeah so anyway all right i'm gonna deal with the situation i'll be back
We're done at the Colonial Williamsburg Little Village. It was really beautiful. I think tomorrow we're going to go to Jamestown and... In the morning. In the morning. And where else are we going to go? Yorktown. Yorktown, that's it. Too I'm much hot. To visit a center drive. It's, I'm tired. Can you tell? Anyway, of course, I'm hot. I'm tired. Hot and sticky. Kind of, and sticky. Kind of have the munchies. But... Yeah, we had a big lunch. We did have a huge lunch. I had onion pie, you guys. Use the onion left pie. Lane to turn left onto bypass road. How come I didn't know onion pie was a thing? Apples, onions with egg. Yeah, yeah. Sounds egg weird. Egg oh my god, you guys! It was delicious. And then we had chocolate custard, chocolate, chocolate cobbler, cobbler of a mile. with vanilla ice Use cream. Use the left lane to turn left onto you State had, Route One Thirty Two. You had local ginger ale. I that did. Was delicious. It was delicious, and he had. Um, beer, a local beer that was made from an original recipe from 1737. Was I had a little sip. It was delicious. Turn anyway, before we go back to the hotel, we are going to go to a thrift store. If I only get one in on this trip, I want to get one in. So we did find one that supports a local children's hospital, and that's a good cause. And so we're going to go there. Um, and we're going to see what we can see, if anything. And I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Does my hair look extra white today? <laughs> it does. And extra curly. Because, you know, we're in Virginia. And I don't have to use my curlers here. Yeah. Anyway, also today's my birthday. Yay. Yay. Happy birthday, dear. Fabulous 60. Big 6-0. Big 6-0. Six, big six -oh. Anyway, we are going to head to Jamestown and hopefully Yorktown today. Those are our two things that we... Uh, on the must-do list today before we come back here and probably have a snack and change and go out to a birthday dinner. We're going to go to another colonial tavern for dinner. So that'll be interesting. At the Williamsburg Inn. Williamsburg Inn. Yeah. And yeah, so if we have time, we'll hit another thrift store today, if not tomorrow. So uh, yeah, it's all good. Let's get started. I'll be back. Walking around the Jamestown area and museum. And then after we're done here, of course, I have to stop by the gift shop because that, that'll be a thing. But we'll also drive around a little bit. I saw something about a ferry. I don't know if we're going to go on that or not. But <clears throat> anyway, it's beautiful. We maybe do that tomorrow. Maybe go on a ferry. We, maybe. I think we should go on a drive. We tomorrow. do have one day where we don't have anything planned. Tomorrow. Yep. So anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll be back. Palatine Indian Village. I'm pretty sure that pasty white guy is. Well, I guess he's playing a part. Oh, the it smells like cedar and incense. Well, because they were. Yeah. at the York Yorktown Battleship ay 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 Ma Battleship ay 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 York Yorktown Battleground Battleground Museum and Visitor Center and we randomly ran into a lady who we've run into like five times since we've been in Virginia and you met, you met them at um, Jamestown and Williamsburg, Williamsburg. we keep yeah. seeing them Anyway, she had um, passes for national parks 
and we were like walking a in through type thing. Yeah, season pass type thing. We were just walking in, chit chatting with her, and she randomly said, "Would you like to get in for free?" She got us two passes to get in for yeah, free with as her guests. As, as guests, her like her guests. That was so sweet. That yeah. never happens to me. She didn't know me from Adam. Anyway, uh, which I thought was cool. Uh, it was very cool. I don't. I don't know exactly where we're at, but we're gonna go see some kind of monument. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Gonna go for a quick we're gonna go for a quick walk. Then we're gonna go over to downtown Yorktown, and there's. A museum if it's open and some um, things to walk around and see so because we're not done yet I'll be back the victory monument there you go the victory monument and in case you don't know can't tell I'm still discombobulated by somebody getting me free admission to anything to be honest so people that was amazing nice was like, oh my god I it's shocking people just being nice for no reason she didn't know me from Adam she looks exactly like my friend Cheryl Leggett, though. I will put that out there. <laughs> All right. I will be back in a minute. You guys, we are outside the Williamsburg Inn here in Williamsburg, and I'm just so you're aware. I know that's the old part of Williamsburg, the colonial village. Uh, during the day, they close it off to through traffic, so you can't drive down there. Um, and you can tour down there and take carriage rides and stuff. For my birthday dinner, we went here. I know, right? We had the most fabulous food and service. I think we've ever had at a restaurant. It's not bargain friendly. Is that a way of saying? But it's worth every penny. Mm -hmm. And they have the best staff and the best food, I'm telling you. Isn't that gorgeous? I told Bob when we come again, and yes, we're already planning a new trip. I want to stay here at least a couple of nights. Look at that. Who wouldn't want to stay? All right, we are going to get a selfie. I'll be back. Morning, everybody. I haven't had to curl my hair or anything the whole time we've been here because thank you, humidity. But anyway, um, also thank you, Virginia mosquitoes, because they caught both Bob and I, uh, him a day before me, so his swelling has gone down. Mine has not. Turn right onto Lightfoot Road. Very itchy. Anyway, we're going to go visit one more local diner for breakfast this morning. It is our last full day in Virginia. Tomorrow is travel home day. Um, we're going to go do some scenic driving, do a little antiquing, things like that. I'll bring you with us where we can. It ought to be a lot of fun. Very relaxing, chill day. So let's see what we get up to. I'll be back. This is the biggest antique mall I've been into in a long time. We didn't buy anything because for two reasons. One, I'm kind of been on the lookout for a while now for specific things, but also we're in Virginia. How the heck am I going to get it home? You didn't see anything small to get. No. No smalls. No smalls. I saw a few big things I'd love to have, but again, how am I going to get it home? So we're going to go drive. There's a scenic drive we haven't done yet, so we're going to go do that right now. I'll be back.
Before we head back to the hotel and start relaxing and packing for the trip home tomorrow, we're going to stop at a disabled American veterans thrift store. In on half a home. mile, use the left lane to turn left. Anyway, there's a link for them here on the East Coast. I don't think they're on the West Coast. They're only in the Virginia area, but I'll leave a link to their website below. You can look up locations, but um, we're going to stop over there on the way home. I will say y'all who live in Virginia and in the area, you're doing a great job. It's beautiful. Your state is beautiful. I see very little trash, very little graffiti. And for that, you really have to go into Richmond, which we did. I have yet to see a tent on the side of the highway. If you have them, I don't know where they're Turn at. Left onto Merrimack Trail. We on the West Coast, they're we everywhere. need to we need to do better. They're everywhere. We need to do better because we're like, yeah, you guys have a, us beat by a landslide. All right, I'll be back. Guys, I don't think I've given you a little tour of the condo we're staying at, but it's actually pretty nice and clean. I mean, you know. Anyway, uh, it is a rainy, drizzly day here in Virginia today, our last day, our go-home day, and uh, we are trying to pack everything as efficiently as possible, which is always a challenge uh, at the end of a trip. But anyway, we're working on it. We've got the dishwasher going, and we'll be making piles of laundry and all that stuff, so anyway... It has been a great vacation, but I can't wait to go home. So, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey, you guys, we are home. We got home very late last night. Um, Son-in-law was very kind to pick us up at the airport. We tried to sleep in this morning, but we're on Virginia time. So, you know, that didn't really happen. But we did get the suitcases unpacked. I don't think we got them put away. I think they're still in the bedroom, but I got the laundry done. Things sorted and organized and all that. And yep, table's full. <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera around. Hang on. Okay, so I got this really cool stack of reproduction um, cottons when we were in Williamsburg, which I can't wait to delve into. I am going to be making more of these coloring books, which I shared before I left and it was great you guys it was really great to do on the plane in the car yeah and this is all ephemera stuff I need to put together a travel journal so that's what that's for I found this really cute um, coat it is a Jacqueline Smith coat at the thrift in Virginia it needs some buttons, and I don't know if I'm going to alter it at all, but the basic basic coat is great. I also found two sort of boho blouses, both of which are too big for me, but all three of these pieces are going to be, they're going to go in the upcycling closet, and at some point I will upcycle them. Um, for these two blouses, I'll probably leave the center part intact and make them tank tops or short sleeves or something. But they're both very cute. I got this flowered one. And then I found this blue one. I know this is not the best video, but it's been a, a fun but exhausting week. Anyway, <laughs> so this one was cute too. And then I think you saw these that we got, which I have plans for already. And then, of course, I had to print... A bunch of stuff because while I was gone, I kept thinking of project ideas and I've got an idea for another zipper pouch. I've got an idea for a pair of overalls. Uh, I just, I was printing and printing and printing and printing. There's a stack of stuff there. Anyway, it was a super fun week. Exhausting, but so fun and so inspiring. You know, it's nice to get out of your regular space a bit and step away from things. Um, temporarily it's oh for me it's always re-inspiring and um yeah I'm really enjoying it so <sighs> but I'm tired I need a good night's sleep <laughs> we're going to tomorrow 
We have to catch up on a bunch of chores, grocery shopping and stuff like that. There's, you know, no food in the house or little food and all that. So, but that's next week's vlogs issue. Uh, and I will be working on some of these projects in future vlogs. And yeah, I've got, my brain is overflowing with inspiration. Um, if you haven't been to Virginia or the East Coast ever or recently, I would recommend a trip. And Bob and I had so much fun on this one that I think we're going to pick some places that most people think, I don't want to go on vacation there. Why would I go there? Because we kind of thought that about Virginia. But you know what? It was fun. So, yeah, we have ideas. Ideas, ideas. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'm going to go back downstairs and after I put some of this away. <laughs> and I'm going to go sit and have some water. We did babysit Junior today um, at the spur of the moment. The kids are now on their way out of town. Uh, but they had a bunch of stuff to do this afternoon before they did that. And they said, can you watch the baby? And I said... Uh, of course, you're going to be gone a week and I just got home. But yeah, I want to watch the baby. So it was fun. Anyway, it's all good. Um, and I am really loving life at the moment. I don't know about you. Uh, so anyway, step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your art room. Go out and just get a breath of fresh air. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because I would appreciate it. And um, questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you're in my Facebook group and you make something you want to share, tag me in the post so that I see it. Or if you're an RT trio, do the same thing. Uh, and I do have a Patreon if you want to support the free content here on YouTube. I think that's it for the minute. I got to gather some stuff, put some things away. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.